In JUnit 5.3, support for parallel execution of test suites has been released as a new feature for developers. Now this can greatly improve productivity for your tests, simply because it takes less time to run multiple tests at once. For this demonstration, I have drafted a terribly slow test class. Two of the three methods here simply put their thread to sleep for a few seconds, and the third one counts to 10 billion just for the fun of it. Two callbacks are added to measure the time it takes to execute this class. When I execute this class on a single thread, it will take quite a while, at least 8 seconds. And it actually turns out it's over 11 seconds until the run finally completes. With parallelism, this can be improved significantly. As you remember, JUnit Jupyter can be configured through configuration parameters, which are provided as Java system properties. To enable parallel test execution, we have to specify this parameter to the test engine. For Java projects using Gradle, the system property DSL can be used to set this up. In an Android project, we use the configuration parameter DSL instead. It's located in the test options block, like so. Finally, when you execute tests through IntelliJ, you need to make sure to add this setting to your run configuration too. From the respective window, you can add the configuration parameter in the VM options box. With this enabled, JUnit Jupyter is prepared to run test cases in parallel. However, the single-threaded execution is still the default mode. To make a test class eligible for parallel execution, you annotate it with the add execution annotation. This is an enum type with two values. Same thread will run all methods in the class one after the other, while concurrent will run them in parallel. If you really want to run your entire test suite in parallel, you can tell this to Jupyter too, so you don't have to add the annotation to all your classes. You do this by specifying this configuration parameter too, next to the other one. Now, all tests will run concurrently, unless there is an execution annotation on the class which overrules this behavior. Back to our test class from earlier, I've added the annotation to the class definition now, and also added the parameter. When I run the class now, the enhancement is visible immediately. Now the class can finish in just 5 seconds. I mean, it's still slow, but it's quite a bit better already, don't you think? 